BJT Small Signal Operation and Model presented by Mellow Outlook to analyze the AC operation of a transistor amplifier it's necessary to develop an AC equivalent circuit for the transistor the AC equivalent circuit is called as the model of the transistor and this simulates the behavior of the transistor when AC signal is present. To keep the DC and the AC quantities distinct, we represent the DC quantities by the uppercase, that is the letter and the subscripts, whereas the instantaneous values of AC quantities are represented by lowercase, that is the letter as well as the subscripts. So you can see wherein the DC currents are represented by the uppercase and the subscript is also uppercase whereas the DC voltages between the terminals and the DC terminal voltages with respect to ground all are represented by the uppercase and the instantaneous currents and the voltages between the terminals are represented by lowercase and even the subscripts are also represented by the lowercase. Before getting into the AC analysis, we need to understand what is a two port network. A two port network base consists of an input port which is shown in the system that is this is the input port and this is the output port and the port network is being characterized by the two currents that is the input current and the output current and the two voltages that is input voltage and output voltage. The input current and the output current is assumed to be entering into the network. So a BJT basically with three terminals can be modeled as a two port device by making one terminal common to the input and output port. So this leads us to following three configurations of the BJT amplifier. The common emitter amplifier, the common base amplifier and the common collector amplifier. And we have seen in the previous topic that we will be dealing mainly with the common emitter configuration. Now coming to the modeling of the transistor. In order to analyze the operation of the transistor amplifier, as mentioned earlier, it's necessary to develop an AC equivalent circuit for the transistor. And this AC equivalent circuit will be called as the model of the transistor. A model basically is a combination of the circuit elements which are properly chosen such that they best approximate the actual behavior of the semiconductor device under specific operating conditions. So if we want to obtain a linear relationship between the input and the output variables, the small signal operation is assumed in the development of the transistor model. And this small signal operation means that the applied AC input signal will cause a small variation in the output current and voltage about the operating point. So let us see what happens at low frequencies and at high frequencies when you model the transistor. At low frequencies, the junction capacitances of the transistors act as open circuit due to the high reactance Therefore, the effect of the junction capacitance is not considered. Whereas at high frequencies, the junction capacitances conduct appreciably and due to low reactance, they provide feedback path from the output to the input. So let us look into the most commonly used models of the transistor which are used in the analysis and the design of the transistor amplifier. So there are two models which are used for small signal low frequency that is the hybrid model and the RE model. This hybrid model is based on what is happening at its terminals without regard for the physical process which is taking place inside the transistor. And the transistor data sheet will provide the parameters of the hybrid model in their listing and analysis and the analysis is simply a matter of inserting the equivalent circuit with the listed values. Whereas in the RE model, RE is determined by actual operating conditions rather than using the datasheet value. And this model does not include 
a feedback term and this model does not include a feedback term whereas for small signal high frequencies we use the hybrid pi model and in our topic we are more interested in understanding the hybrid pi model that is the small signal high frequency analysis so let us see how to obtain an ec equivalent of a transistor network these are the steps which are mentioned in order to obtain the ec equivalent circuit the first thing that we need to do is we have to set all the dc sources to zero and replace them by a short circuit equivalent and secondly we have to replace all the capacitors by a short circuit equivalent and thirdly we have to remove all the elements that are bypassed by the short circuit equivalents which were introduced in the steps 1 and 2 and fourth step is we have to redraw the network in a more convenient and a logical form